What's up everybody? Welcome welcome to today's vlog. This is how we're starting it out. So let me tell y'all what happened. I held an endangered goose. I got screamed at by two women. I almost got a kid drowned. I broke my toe. Now I'm at the emergency room. Does that about sum it up? I'll be your right foot. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I lost my other camera. So now y'all are on an older camera. Let's, I don't really want to get out. Let's go. I'll support you. I don't need support. Yes, you do. I only need emotional support. We well, can get you a wheelchair, you baby. Um, he was trying to get someone out because they were like getting all up in there. And so then I think he's just smashed it wrong. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Bye. Oh, you didn't do anything. No, it's, ex it's exactly the same. But they cleaned my wounds, which is cool. Are we just going to splint it up? And no videos. Oh. Oh, I that. <coughs> when I'm gone, Hannah. Carry on. Don't find someone else. That would be really horish of you. <coughs> Mega whore. Got me. He's got his cape because he's calling AF. He lost his shirt. Yep. You may be wondering, why, JT, why are you wearing such fashionable clothing? Well, it's because I lost my shirt at the beach. When I, oh, God. <laughs> Whatever the whole incident was going down, which I will explain to y'all later. Selfies. <laughs> That's a freeze frame. This is appealing to the eyes. <laughs> he stuffed his fat foot in his shoe. Oh my gosh. What <laughs> kind of woman are you? You're disgusting. That's the brand we want to go with. Yeah. At Kotex, yeah. you know, they just look so happy in so the commercials. Nice. They're jumping around. Oh yeah. They're like, ooh. Get in the cart. Get in the cart. Get in the cart. It's too fat. Yeah, you got you too much junk snow, in the trunk. Oh, syrup. Yeah. Yes. Right she taking pictures of us? I thought she was. <laughs> Man, my hair looks very nerdy. I know. <laughs> okay. The good thing about this camera is its zoom feature. It's so fun to play with. Don't zoom in on me. It's too late. <laughs> I hate how Well, everybody's drinking our coffee. Who's everybody? Uh, you don't have to worry about these here. They brought some. We need taco seasoning. Taco seasoning. Oh, way. Da 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 So here in Kauai, Hawaii, there are an unbelievable amount of chickens. Y'all don't believe me? Here, let me just let me just show you. Chicken, 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 chickens. So I guess it's as good as time as any to explain what happened today. It was actually there's a lot of things. Like I summed it up a little bit earlier, but it was quite a bit. So first, we went to a uh, a wildlife place. I don't know exactly what it was called. It had these geese everywhere. And I was playing around with one of them, and everything was all cool, but uh, I picked one up, <laughs> and that was a big no-no. Don't pick up the geese. Got screamed at by two ladies there. Don't pick up the geese. More to the interesting stuff, there's a place I guess the locals know as the secret beach here on Kauai, and uh, there's a river that connects to the ocean. So it kind of makes this draft, and on the other side of the river is a mound of rocks. I had the idea of getting a pretty good shot with my camera up there. Kind of like majestic, montage style shot. And uh, my friend Lloyd was with me. He offered to come across with me. I gave him the camera, and I hopped into the water to swim across, and the current was pretty strong. Like, it was pretty intense, not gonna lie. I got across, but, but I struggled really hard to get across. And it was like, if it had taken me, it would have taken me, like, taking me out to dinner, like in the bad. So I turned around and I was about to tell Lloyd not to come across because the current was too strong. And by the time I had turned around, he'd already started heading this way. So I screamed to just head back. 
but he was already too late. The current had already grabbed him. So it was dragging him out further and further to sea. And then I knew that things were like going real bad real fast. I ran up on the rocky ledge to see if there was like a point where the current was gonna push him up against the rocks so he would get pushed back on and then everything would be okay. But I didn't see anything, so I started getting into panic mode. So I started looking around for anything to grab and I saw like a pile of sticks over there. And I went over and I was digging through it trying to find the longest one and eventually I found one that was a pretty good length. It was like six feet long. So I started running. I guess at some point I tripped and I didn't realize it because I looked down and my toe was bent in a very bad direction. You do not want your toe to be bent. It didn't even phase me at the time because you can't feel it once your like heart gets racing. And I ran over there. I had gotten to a point that I saw Lloyd getting drifted to and I laid down on my stomach. I grabbed one rock with my right hand, trying to hold on, and I had reached down with the stick to grab Lloyd, but he's kind of a big guy. So he grabs onto the stick, and, uh, and I'm holding him, and I can feel him, like my grip on the stick slipping, because it's a smooth stick, and the rock I'm holding on to is also slipping. And either way, it just feels like I'm about to fall into the ocean, and I don't really know what to do. My arm is all cut up, because it was digging into the side of the rock. So, like, Lloyd, every time the current would drag him down, it would push my arm down with him, so I ended up scratching at my arm a ton, too. Which I think y'all saw some of that in some earlier footage of the hospital. And, uh, my knees were digging into the rocks, so eventually... The, the stick just slipped from my hands. And it was kind of a moment of pure horror, because you like you really don't know what to do at that point. And he started drifting out further into sea. The waves kept coming. He went underwater for a good 20 seconds, still holding the stick, and I saw the stick just float up. And uh, and like that, that's a bad image to just think about, just to see the stick float up, but he was still under there. So you really start worrying. There's not a whole lot I can do. I was thinking about jumping in the water, but I know like you can only make things worse if you put yourself in the same situation. And his dad was walking over on the rocks to me too, and I was panicking and telling him I didn't know what to do. And he was way out at sea at this point. Like so far, you can barely see the tide waves. They're they're like three times as tall as he is. He just looks small out there. So it was like a moment of hopelessness. I ended up walking back over by the river area, not really knowing what to do because from the rocks I can't do anything. I was kind of having a PTSD moment of not wanting to recross that river. I ended up just sitting there for a minute. I sat down and he was floating out there and there's literally nothing anybody can do. Somebody on shore had called 911 to get somebody to come pick him up out of the water but they were nowhere in sight. And it was in the moment of just sitting there that you really think about it. Like putting yourself in their shoes or somebody else in their shoes. After a while, he started drifting back towards the rocks, which it was hard to tell if that was a good or a bad thing at the time because the rocks were sharp, sharp enough to cut my feet open, to cut his dad's feet open. He has a giant gash in his foot. It had sand all in it, it was bad, he could barely walk. And, but thank God he ended up getting to an area where he could just barely stand. And that's when my mom ran out there and pulled him back to shore. That's when we saw the medic on a jet ski come around the corner. And at this point, Lloyd was already okay. And, but they were able to help me and his dad back across the river. But uh, in the midst of all that, Lloyd was carrying my camera and he tried to toss it onto the rocks and ended up missing, which it didn't bother me at the time because, like, it's a camera or life. Mm, I think I'm gonna go for life. So it's no big deal. Anyways, that was just me explaining what went down. Remember, like, subscribe, do what you gotta do.